Guten Morgen, Bibish Du, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. I'm speaking Pennsylvania Dutch because I'm out hitting Amish garage sales today. It is a 70 degree day, middle of April in northern Indiana, and garage sale season is starting. And around here, it always starts with the Amish. Now, the Amish don't advertise their garage sales online, so you know, you can't pull it up on your Google Maps and find them. You just have to kind of drive around the country roads until you run into them. So that's what I did this morning. I had four garage sales and I want to show you what I got. So I always start with books, you know. i uh, got a few cookbooks here. Guys, if you see this pie-fronted Betty Crocker cookbook, get it every time. It always has a good rank, under 100,000, and I've sold this several times for anywhere from 25 to 50 bucks, depending on condition. Only paid a dollar. It's a really, really good find. Uh, building barns. Ooh, Martha. These young men certainly start my butter churning. Uh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Okay, so moving right along. Um, this set here, Family Bible Library, this is something I've actually sold before, and it said make offer. So I took it up to the table, and I said, hey, would you take $5 for this? And she said, oh, I was thinking I wanted a little more. Could you go 10 why, yes, ma'am, I can go 10 because this is currently ranked 300,000 on Amazon and the lowest FBA is 50 bucks. I didn't tell her that, of course. I just said, of course, I can do 10. Would you take five then for the baby swing? Because it also said make offer. Look at this vintage 70s green. Isn't that nasty? She said, oh, yeah, yeah, I can do five for the swing. Well, that's a good thing, ma'am, because right now there's a sold listing on eBay for this exact model for $110. I didn't tell her that either. I just gave her my five bucks and moved right along. So a lot of people ask me, what do you look for in your garage sales? Well, I look for a couple different things. I look for practical things, right, that are new in package. A lot of these go on Amazon, Finch Feeder, Outdoor Timer, you know, Singer, uh, Stitch So Quick. This washdown pump, I paid 30 bucks. You can see that. This is ranked 80,000 in sports on Amazon and is selling for 150 bucks. So got some practical stuff here but I also look for vintage stuff not just you know antiques collectibles but vintage packaging look at some of this beautiful packaging now, I didn't look all this stuff up I didn't look up the econo pack dress bags or the handmade booty set I didn't look these things up I just love the vintage packaging and what am I paying 25 cents a buck you know I know I'm gonna sell this stuff for good money but I'm also looking at vintage oh my gosh look at this is that beautiful Look at the chrome, Sears Kenmore blender, okay? I paid $3 for that. I will easily sell it for 20 bucks, easily. Pyrex coffee pot, isn't that pretty? Look at that design. This uh, green pan set, Encore made in Spain. I'll easily get 20 bucks for that. Salad Master vintage coffee maker, okay? Um, here is a good lesson that I wanna teach you with these uh, Miromatic pressure canners. Okay, so, when you go to garage sales, different people have different ideas of what is valuable, okay? So like for instance, I'm at Amish garage sales, so I'm seeing quilts for 100 bucks, 150 bucks. Um, I'm seeing Pyrex sets, vintage Pyrex sets for 30, 50, 65 bucks, you know? And that's about what I would sell them for on eBay. So they're valuing that stuff really high. But pressure cookers, vintage Miro pressure cookers, why well, everyone's got a pressure cooker. Why do we need this old one here? Just put $3 on it, put $5 on it. I could sell these all day long on eBay for 35, 40 bucks, especially when they have the uh, instructions. Okay, always look for the little um, pressure gauge, okay, and make sure they have a rubber seal. As long as you got that, you're gold, okay? Those are, those are good things to find. So, um, and it's not always, I'm not just saying that uh, people don't value these, okay? It depends on what garage sale you go to. Um, for instance, I do a lot of record albums, as you guys know. I go to some garage sales, record albums are 25 cents a piece. I go to others, they're five or 10 bucks a piece, okay? Um, that's just because different people value things differently. Um, side note, this is a plug. If you guys wanna learn how to source and sell record albums, I just released my book on how to do that. So um, you can look in the YouTube comments if you're watching this on YouTube or ask in the group if you're on Facebook right now and uh, pick that up. Um, it's only 17 bucks and you can easily, easily make that back in your very first sale. Uh, so there, that's a plug. Now we're back to your regularly scheduled programming. All right, so yes, I look for practical stuff. I look for vintage stuff. Um, got some toys and games here. Got a couple of vintage Barbies here. Paid five bucks a piece. One of them sells for 15, the other one sells for 35. 
on Amazon. Got some vintage games. Now, Amazon recently has started um, restricting certain brands of games. One game that I actually saw was uh, called Finance by Parker Brothers. It was a 1936 precursor to Monopoly. And I got really excited when I saw it. Um, but when I looked it up, Amazon said I was restricted because of the brand. When I looked it up on eBay, it wasn't selling for enough to cover my buy cost. Plus, it was in kind of crappy condition. So I left it there. Um, but these, I didn't even look these up, okay, because they're odd. Go to the head of the class. All right, a dollar. I, I paid a dollar for it. The metric game paid two dollars. Pass it on. Paid three dollars. Okay. The only one I'm certain of is Triominoes because I've sold that before. But these others, if Amazon restricts me, I know I can get uh, good money for them on eBay. And if not, what am I out? Just a couple bucks a piece, right? Okay. So my total buy cost at my Amish garage sales today was a hundred and nineteen dollars. And you guys heard me say I'm selling this for a hundred and fifty. So all my buy cost is recouped right there with one sale. Everything else is gravy. And you know what I think of that? Zimini gut. So yeah, for tell me what think you and what you find. Uh, sorry. Leave me some comments and tell me what you're finding in your sourcing.